In today's video, we do the brand new avatar challenge where we've got to get all three mythics in a game and only use the mythics and win with them. So let's see what happens and jump in. So first off, we're going to be jumping into the brand new update where the three mythics have been added. We're not going to be using the water bending because that's already been in the game. So let's go and find these new mythics. So first off, we're going to dive straight into the center of the map. And in this center piece over here is where you will usually find one of the earth mythics if it spawns in. This is going to be the earth bending mythic. It's super powerful and it can be used to destroy enemies and and build cover so let me show you guys that once we get in there and grab it so we're gonna be diving in here looks like no one else is landing here so we should be good and safe to go so let's land in over here don't forget if you are buying the brand new avatar pass don't forget to pop in code post that's post pop it into your item shop if you're grabbing this new element pass it's pretty awesome okay so we've landed in and now we're going to grab the new earth bending mythic which is just being added in it's a brand new mythic with new mechanics so we're going to try them out against enemies and just test a few myths with them as well as we're in here so first off i'm going to try it against this water piece here looks like you can't fish with it so it definitely isn't explosive you can't damage yourself with it either we've got some opponents over there so we're going to go over there and see if we can spot them and see if we can take them out with this mythic it's pretty awesome to use actually and i think you can build cover with it so we'll try it out when we get into some action with the left trigger i think okay here look like some players over here let's see if we can hit them with the rocks okay oh wow it's got quite a lot of drop on it the rocks so the rocks don't fly exactly straight you've got to kind of bend them down and it looks like they have no explosive damage. So you've got to directly hit. 85 is good, but is it easy to hit? So far, I'm struggling to hit this, but it's pretty fun to use. I love firing it in. Luckily, these haven't got the best aim over here. So, oh, I haven't got good aim either here in this situation. These things are not accurate at all and very hard to hit. They actually take a little bit of time to travel over there and they're not going exactly where my crosshair is they're dropping a little bit so they've got a little bit of drop which is kind of hard you can see i'm aiming in another 85 there on the frozen peel he actually goes and retreats back over there so we'll wait here and see if we can take him out they're still behind that tree let's keep firing you definitely can't get explosive damage so we're going to move in we're going to use the cover now we're going to use the left trigger button the second option the second ability if you use this with your mythic oh wow okay it does a really cool cover i don't know if that damages the players but we'll find out that later we'll try and hit one with it later okay let's keep hitting this guy here missed him a few shots hit him again uh, wow how, how did that not damage him okay there we are use the cover to our advantage here stay behind here hit the next opponent nice okay keep behind the cover up and over um oh, wow no way that didn't damage him all right perfect so we take him out there with the 85 damage they ain't the best the new earth bending gives good cover but it definitely isn't the best for protecting yourself i thought it might be a little bit better but that's not the case Okay, switching ahead a little bit further, I got attacked by this Neymar. He was just stood on this rock, so I just took him out dead quickly with the Earth Bending. There's another player over there as well coming over this little hill here. You can see I'm going to take him out as well using this Earth Bending. Again, it's not that good. It's really hard to hit. If you get quite close and you hit with it, it is good. But I'm assuming if you get hit by a shotgun or if you're fighting someone with a shotgun, you are going to struggle a lot. So I would personally not advise using it really that often. I would use it mainly for the cover only. Okay, switching ahead to my car now. We're going to rotate in this car. We've got another player here where we're still using the Earth Bending. We're going to have to to find the other two mythics in a second let's keep using this if we can go for a nice little swing on him use the little well, the gravity is quite fun with it because you get a little bit of height bouncing i could imagine a mythic mode with just these would be super fun like just these mythics but it's so hard to hit like look at this it's not even doing they definitely need to make it do splash damage maybe like 30 or something but yeah it's all right if you hit direct but if you can't hit direct when it's quite hard to do this isn't going to be the best mythic, but let's keep moving through. Oh, you can fire your car in the air, which is pretty funny. Let's see if we can fire a player in a second as well. We'll try and get the opportunity to fire a player in the air with that other ability. Nice little take down there. Another player over there. Okay, we're just going to take him out, but he's going to damage us a lot if we don't. Oh, wow. Okay, two perfect shots of it. You can do a lot of damage. On non-build, I'm guessing this would be not the best, like we're on zero build now, but on build mode, this would be quite powerful. It probably goes through structures really well as well, so would recommend it. Okay, the next mythic we've got... I'm just going to go over there, but that's not a suitable mythic, actually. Let's take this guy out as well. It looks like we dropped a mythic through that chest as well. Okay, swing in again. The earth bending. Doing pretty well here. We're doing all right with it. Dodging a lot of bullets. Oh, come on. The guy can't hit us. He's trying his best. He's trying his best. Oh, no. We're missing again. Okay, nice, nice. Okay, so it's quite a difficult challenge. It's just to use the mythics only, but another earth bending as well. All right, that's not going to be that good. Okay, let's switch over this hill as well. Now we're going to actually be rotating into the fire mythic, which is going to be fire bending, which is going to be really cool to use because this one is a little bit different, a little bit more fun than the earth one i think but it can be quite hard to control so here's the little chest here it's snooty you can see you can get these chests not just in temples and we've got firebending we only need one firebending really because it kind of just 
has endless charges and you can do this slam with it as well which is pretty fun that's pretty awesome we're gonna try that and i've also found on the floor a air bending you can get them from normal chests as well obviously you can find them in temples there's four different temples around the map by the way you'll find all different colors for each mythic again we are leaving out the water bending in this video here you can see me using the air bending now that's pretty cool you can got you got your kind of like little rotation ability here but not really using it to damage anyone it doesn't actually do any damage now we're using the fire one. Oh wow the fire one's really good but really hard to aim your character kind of moves around a lot with it it's quite hard to control the slam's going to be good in close but you got to get in close these are going to take me out here i have to move out of here a little bit and heal up and have to try and find some heals if possible oh look at that how perfect is that we just find ourselves a flow berry fizz that's going to come in perfect get us back up to 100 shield we can get back out there and take them out we'll see if we've got any maybe meds in here as well is there oh no there's not any only a junior shield but we could use them though i guess if we get access we could take them in a minute maybe and use them we'll see all right let's uh port four they're not gonna be that good all right over here we've got the player use the earth bending on him again he can't hit with that slam in okay the slam does 85 i think it's pretty good but again it leaves you in a vulnerable situation i gotta get out of there again i could get spread these guys are quite good these they could kind of spray me down a lot go really be careful they're not pushing me though so i'm kind of okay to kind of just staying out there all right okay let's stay behind here use the shield to heal up the players are just outside so i've got to be careful and use the fire bending to get damage on them as much as possible 40 on him Okay, keep going, number 40. Okay, so hard to use. It moves you quite a lot. Take cover. Like, I'm not even moving forward and it's pushing me forward. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe it's something to do with the movement or the direction. This mythic feels like it needs a little bit of a rework. It doesn't feel that good. All this movement is really hard to control it. Okay, we got the finish on him just, but that was such a close fight. Okay, moving ahead here. Looks like someone's fighting one of the bosses. We're going to go in with the air bend and see if we can damage him. No, the air bending does not damage. We go for the other ability. That's the other ability, guys, with the left trigger. It allows you to jump in the air with it. Little slam down, use the fire. Okay, nice. So it definitely the air bending is good for movement. It can allow you to jump to higher ground and allows you to move around the map faster but overall it doesn't even give you like shield or anything so you can get really badly pinged in it which could be really bad like if someone sprays you in this you can't exit it really that quick so you could lose a lot of hp or even get eliminated so i wish it would give you maybe like an extra like overshield or maybe like a bubble around it so it protects you as you're using it but it doesn't so i'm really surprised this mythic actually isn't that good it's only good for movement really it's not good at all for short movement should i say like at this stage in the game you probably wouldn't want to be using it too much especially if there's more players alive which you will be getting pinged. here's an example here i'm getting absolutely pinged here using the air bending and i've got to get it i didn't actually get hit actually but i could have been hit badly there i used the fiber fit and this guy's so hard to use it's so hard to use you're doing a lot of movement it's so hard to keep the aim on it you can take them out i guess it's going to be hard for you to hit though for them to hit you if you are moving like that as well so it's kind of like a win-win situation i can imagine you getting a lot of elimination they hit well okay we're gonna air bend out of here and we're getting absolutely Absolutely ping by these. Oh, okay. That's the disadvantage to the air bend. You can get absolutely wrecked. Luckily enough, I picked up med kits and shields before, which are going to come in handy to heal me back up. So I heal back up and I move out of there. I don't even fight them. I just get out of there because they're too strong. They're absolutely wrecked me. They could be the better players in the lobby. So we're moving out of there quick. I'm going to go over here and just hide for a little bit and just see what we can find. Got another player over here. We'll take him out using our fire ability. Lovely 40 damage again. Fire ability, fire ability. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Okay, take him out there with the fire ability. We can use these slaps as well to get max shield again. Obviously, we want max shield as quickly as possible. So let's use these slaps and get back up to that 200 shield there. 200 overall. HP and shield. Okay, nice, nice, nice. There we are. Perfect. These mythics are quite good. Only using these mythics is a difficult challenge, by the way. Go for a little slump. Oh, that was so good. The perfect elimination with the fire bending slam that was awesome with only two players remaining we should be set to go and hopefully we should be able to get the victory early we've got full shield we've got the air bending we've got the two the three brand new mythics we're not using the water one because obviously it's not new so we're just focusing on the new ones here in this challenge there's another player over here we can go around them here we can use the fire on them nice 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 okay little fire switch over to that oh so we slammed them there we've got the earth bending the earth bending does not do damage to them when you slam them you can just see that nice little 85 perfect hit with the earth bending i make it look so easy it's not that easy to hit there. It did feel easy, but it's definitely not. Earthbending, difficult to use. Okay, last player down here. Next player. Okay, he's, he's appealing. What's he doing? What's he doing? He's hiding behind that rock. Slamming. Okay, we've got airbending. Swing up to the air. Switch over to the earth. Hit one with the earth. Nice. Switch over to fire. Slam down. Boom. Victory Royale. Perfect victory with the new Mythics. Challenge complete. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite Mythic. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.